Oh my, an extreme racist, xenophobic monster who wants to continue the genocide started by this extreme racist, genocidal monster. Oh man, they're neither one for Medicare for all, neither one for a living wage, neither one of them for raising taxes on billionaires or even repealing the Bush, the Trump task that this guy put in. She doesn't want to even do that. Um, they're both talking about building the wall. She even said he had a good idea with the wall building. She's endorsed by Dick Cheney, the worst human being to ever live. He is one of the worst human beings to ever live. Uh, what to do, what to do. They both are for killing kids, especially brown kids. Um, uh, libertarians are crazy because they're social liberals and fiscal conservatives, and you literally can't be those two things. You have to be fiscally liberal to be socially liberal. Um, he dropped out and is working for him. What to do, what to do. Oh, wait, Jill Stein. Wait, who the hell is that VP on the ballot? That's not her VP, VP. But anyways... She is against genocide, for a living wage, for Medicare for all. Um, wow, I guess all the people that are Democrats and Republicans saying that we have no choice, I guess we really don't. She is the only one, the only one, and this shouldn't be that hard. There. I voted for an end to genocide. I voted for Medicare for all. I voted for a living wage. I voted for raising taxes on billionaires. I voted for the environment. I voted against fracking. I avoided, voted against big oil. I voted against genocide. And again, I voted for peace and the rights of all. Not just, not just some, but all. I did not vote for this racist, fascist, genocidal pig, and I did not vote for this racist, fascist, genocidal pig. I really thought this was going to be very hard because people told me, like, oh, you can't vote for Jill Stein. Well, I just did.